Let's go. Hello, Cancer. Rambling Mike here. Going to play a little bit of tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in again one more time. Appreciate your view. Yeah, no, I do. Thanks for the like. What are you thinking about it? And that old subscription button. If you haven't hit that yet, I want to do yourself a favor and let YouTube know what you like to look at. That way, when you open up your computer, YouTube's not telling you what you should be looking at. You already told YouTube what you want to look at. Thanks for hitting that old subscription button, my friends. And Cancer, if you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, mwah, thank you so very much. So very kind of you. I appreciate it all. Large or small, we're going to give you a full spread here tonight, Cancer. Love and money. We are going to start with money cards. The money moves. I have the career and life oracle as well. Then we're going to shift gears, look at love. I got the romance and love oracle. Let's get some romance. So I got romance, angels. I got the dancing in the dark for your love story here. And a couple of major arcanas from the mystic palette. I do want to let you know, this Wednesday night I'm giving away another beautiful tarot kit to a member of Ramblin' Nation. We call it Wednesday Friends Day. Cancer, if you've been thinking about becoming a member of Ramblin' Nation, we would love to have you as part of our family. Go ahead and smash that join button right there. Get your reading with me tonight. You get readings with me regularly too. And come hang out with us on Wednesdays and Saturdays. All that being said, let's play some tarot. Money, honey. Money come to cancer. Money come to cancer. Let's go. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Let's go. Money, honey. Cancer. Here we go. First card out. <laughs> oh, take a nap. Take a nap. The old exhausted card came out. It's time for a break. This is a card about restart. The old reboot. Recharge. Regrouping. Energy showed up around here. Cancer. Well, last month may have been a little bit challenging for you. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. This new moon energy coming in. Recharge. Regroup. Replanning. Redoing. Reworking. Give me one cancer. Oh, the knuckleheads. Well, the knuckleheads just showed up around here, cancer. <laughs> oh, 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 the old knuckleheads around there. Well, 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 well. There is a nice card here. Yeah. Transformation. Maybe the knuckleheads are gone. I didn't even want to. I didn't even want to talk about them. Are the knuckleheads gone? That's a Scorpio energy right there. Scorpio season. Transformation. Death, birth, resurrection, and major transformation. These are money cards. I mean, this says duality. If money's been a little bit challenging for you, this is a nice energy of coming up and coming out. We got a transformation energy after duality and and the exhausted card. All right, tell me more. Tell me more. Cancer, my lovely, lovely cancers. Looks to me like you got rid of some knuckleheads. Got rid of some duality of some kind. Money, honey, give me one. Cancer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. The spiritual work came out. Oh, clearing up a whole bunch of energy right here. Loving on yourself. Doing a little bit of inner work, maybe. Coming up and coming out. It says opening your heart. Opening your heart possibly to a spiritual career. I'm reading for a cancer that's all about healing the human heart right here. I'm, I'm, I'm reading for a light worker right here. Having major transformation in your life. Leaving duality behind. Tell me more. Tell me more. Wow, a happy home came out. A happy home. Home based. Some of you may be starting something home based. Now that is my happy home right there. This is about you transforming your whole world right here, Cancer. Absolutely leaving 
leaving duality behind. I love transformation by your duality card right there. Let's play with career and life, Oracle. Cancer. I love this for you. Coming up and coming out, man. Left all that duality behind. Tuned in with the divine. We got a happy home. Wow, look at this, Cancer. Look at this. Power position came out. Got you back on your throne. Got you back in uh, rocking your spiritual birthright. Uh, you're being promoted or called to lead. Um, time, to, time to step into your sovereignty, it says. Time to step into your sovereignty. You're being, you're being promoted or called to lead. Time to step into your sovereignty. Maybe guide others with compassion. Tell me more. Power position came out after spiritual work and home base. Cancer. Cancer. Oh, people skills came out. <laughs> my little happy my little happy pineapple right there. People skills. It's talking about uh, being promoted, called to lead. You have a flair for working well with others. This is nice, man. You could be a counselor, <laughs> could be the head of the company. Yeah, I like that. Power position, people skills, nice stuff, man. Here we go. I'll leave that old prickly situation behind. There it is right there. No prickly situation, exhausted, duality, transformation. Hmm. You probably use both tact and diplomacy. It says you're reaching your goals. Says the struggle's worth the prize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye bye, knuckleheads. Bye bye, knuckleheads. Bye bye, lack. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, prickly situation. Stepping into your power position, people skills, transformation. Nice stuff right here. Give me another one. Cancer. Cancer. Money, honey. Money, honey. Cancer. Oh, wow. Wisdom. Well, you learned a lot on your journey, didn't you? Learned a lot, taking all that wisdom with you, leaving duality behind. The old wise leader just showed up. Again, this says you may be called to serve as a mentor. Cancer. Or a role model. Uh, guiding, guiding others, showing the way. Using your wisdom and experience. Look at this. This is a spiritual promotion around here. Give me one more. Cancel, babies. Money, honey. Real breakthrough. Here we go. What do we got? Direction. Yeah. It's a sundial or something right there. Here comes the sun. Direction came out. Your purpose is unfolding. These are nice cards, man. Step by step as you go along. There's no need to hurry or worry. You're being divinely guided. Wow, real breakthrough, real breakthrough, cancer, cancer, wow, there's a little stowaway, a little stowaway in this deck right here, the power card, the power card stowed away in this deck right here, cancer, it says you have the power to take control of your life, your career, and your finances, focusing on you, focusing on your needs, wow. I'm still having fun with these tarot for Oracle. It says wishes coming true. <sighs> wishes coming true. Cancer. <laughs> ah, your wish is being granted. Oh, I like this, man. <laughs> no worries. It's just what you need. Getting what you need. Wow. Real breakthrough right here. Cancer. Cancer, let's take a look at love. See what my, let's see what see what the love cards have to say. Making a wish. I couldn't help but blow on that dandelion right there. Cancer looked <laughs> looked delicious. Let's go. Cancer love. Cancer love. Let's go. Tower team, couple love cards for my cancer babies. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, cancer. 
Cancer. Wow, an attraction card jumped. This card about attracting love. You are attracting the right person at the right time into your life. Well, you're on a roll. You're on a roll here, Cancer. Power position, huh? Attraction. Leaving those old prickly situations behind. Transformation. Ooh la la. Let's go. Cancer. Cancer. Oh, the axe. Well, some of you, the prickly situation may be the old axe. Let's give them the axe. Let's give them the axe right here. <laughs> the axe. Oh, Lordy, the ex. Uh, healing from the past may take a little time. I want you loving on yourself. If we got the old ex card right there. Uh, says you're attracting the right person. Leaving the ex in the past, somebody. <laughs> somebody. Wish is coming true over here, yeah. Maybe letting the past be in the past. Here we go, cancer. Letting go of something, somebody. Duality. Oh, and the old illusions card right there. Oh, we won't be fooled again. We won't be fooled again. Being aware of love's illusions. Seeing reality clearly. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. A little alone time. Possibly, and that's beautiful with all this right here. If you're letting, if you're letting people, places, or things go. And uh, spending some time with the divine. It says you're attracting love. Spending some time alone may help you gain clarity on relationships. There's a heartbreak card right here. I'm shaking them out. I've seen enough barbed wire around here. I'm shaking them out. We're going to do a little spiritual surgery around here, Cancer. Are you with me? Here we go. Out, out of Cancer's heart, out of Cancer's life, out. Look at that. The right direction, or the right path. Getting back on track, attracting the right person at the right time. Love is a beautiful journey, and you're on the right path. It's a new moon energy coming in around here, new days. New days. Let's go. Give me another one. Cancer. Cancer. Surprise. Did you see that jump? Love Tarot. Surprise jumped out around here, Cancer. Surprise, surprise, surprise. This horse got a little something going on around here. No, oh, we are definitely letting the past. We're letting the knuckleheads go. We're letting the jellyfish go around here. Bye bye, knuckleheads. Bye bye jellyfish. Bye bye lack. Got bye bye prickly situation. Attraction. You're attracting the right person at the right time. Love is a beautiful journey, and you're on the right path. Romantic surprises are on the horizon. Be open to them. Nice stuff, Cancer. Wow, sparks, sparks, sparks. Hey, <laughs> what a spark says fire. Hmm. Wow. There's a true love card right there, Cancer. A true love on this journey. A deep and enduring connection going beyond superficial attraction. Outstanding, my friends. <laughs> Proposal. <laughs> All right, all right, let's play some tarot. An offer or proposal in the near future that comes as a surprise. Oh, man, attraction, right path, surprise, sparks, true love, proposal, an offer or proposal in the near future that comes as a surprise. Well, surprise, 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 my lovely, lovely cancers. This new moon energy looks gorgeous. No, there's Michael looking at me. I'm going to shuffle here in a minute. I always shuffle before the camera goes on. But uh, look at that new day dawning right there. And then that temperance card. 
And uh, that's our beloved uh, Archangel Michael's card in the tarot. He's the cup blender. He's the cup blender showing up around here. What is this? I'm going to shuffle here in a minute. But these, there's two majors. There's an emperor. This looks like an empress. I already talked about you being back on your throne, male or female. Look at this. Look at this with Michael. Cancer, get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Sparks, surprise, true love, proposal. Tell me more, tell me more. Let's shuffle it up. Let's shuffle it for a little bit. Dancing in the dark. What do we got for my cancer, lovelies? Cancer, my lovely, lovely cancers. Let's go. Cancer. Cancer. Looking like an emperor and an empress. And the angel of the middle way. Tell me what's going on. Cancer love. Cancer love. Oh, another major arcana. A fool card. About a fresh start in life. A new beginning. A leap of faith. Que sera, sera. Whatever will be, will be. Geronimo, here we go. Cancer, look out. Look like you're about to step off the love cliff, my friends. Wow, another one, man. The sun. The majors just keep on rolling out. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Here comes the sun. Look at this. These are major arcanas. These are cards of the gods. Showing up for cancer. The angel of the middle way. A fresh start, a new beginning. And the sun. The sun. It's definitely about abundance. It's also about enlightenment and epiphanies. Greater understandings of the laws of the universe and how to use them effectively for your life while you're here on earth. It is also indicates a very strong union coming in here. For cancer. Outstanding. Outstanding, my friends. Four major arcana right off the bat. Cancer love. Cancer love. Oh, that's a card of happiness and joy and bliss. Three cups. Can be about meeting somebody new. Can be about a rekindling if that's what you're interested in. But it's definitely a card. It's the happiest card in the tarot deck if you ask me. It's about celebrating life. Maybe you're going to meet somebody at a party. Who knows, man? It's three cops showed up after the sun. I got an emperor. I got an empress. I got the angel of the middle way. And I got a fool jumping for joy in the story right here. Cancer. Outstanding tarot cards right here. Oh. That's a face card. The Knight of Pentacles. So. This could be somebody that you know. That's three cops that can talk about somebody you know. Um, it's a slow pony coming in. Oh, well. May not be a slow pony. This energy, this winning, winning in love energy, may have taken a long time for it to show up in your world. But this is a solid, stable offer that's coming in here with a Knight of Pentacles. I'm excited for you, Cancer. Yes, look, man, it's a Knight of Pentacles offering an Ace of Cups. <laughs> Cancer, happy new moon. Happy new moon, my friend. Oh, oh. <laughs> la la, man. It's just, it talks about a beautiful stable offer, you know, the old proposal, you know. Coming in here for you. It says uh, an offer or proposal in the near future comes as a surprise. Wow, very nice. A deep and enduring connection going beyond superficial attraction. Cancer, outstanding my friends. Wow, it just doesn't stop. You know, that's the old classic 1111 card right there. You know, that's home and hearth and preparing for the big day. Dancing around the community fire. It's four wands. 
Ace of Cups to Four Wands, a Knight of Pentacles, Three Cups, Major Arcanas, Temperance, the Fool, an Emperor. I'm going to call this the Empress. Can we call that the Empress? Can we give that to a Major? Yeah. An Emperor and an Empress and the Sun shining. <laughs> Outstanding, Cancer. Uh, how, about, how about one more Wheel of Fortune for you? Or how about one more Major? The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Destiny. The wheel of change for the better. The wheel of ending an old karmic cycle. And the wheel of beginning a new a new world. Outstanding. How many majors did you get? One, two, three, four, five, six major arcanas. Out of ten cards. Go on with yourself. There's only 22 majors. Let's play with a couple more majors around here. Cancer, get ready. Get ready. Here we go. Let's go. What do we got? <laughs> this old emperor right here. <laughs> this old emperor right there. Oh, bam! Look at him. Damn, Cancer. Hello. <laughs> Damn. Yes. Yes. Wow. Wow. A lot of emphasis on the uh, on the emperor right there. A fool card about a leap of faith again. These cards are repeating themselves, aren't they? It's a fresh start, it's a new beginning, it's the love cliff, and uh, it's justice. If we are talking about a rekindling here, you know, a four of wands story, a wheel of fortune story, this, is, uh, this could very well be a rekindling or a, a final move uh, with an emperor and an empress to uh, the land of four wands. Anyway, if this isn't going on in your world, Cancer, set your intentions right here with this reading that this is coming in here for you. It's coming in here for somebody. Might as well be you. That is the fun of tarot, ain't it? You can set your own intentions if you agree with it or not. Anyway, my lovely, lovely Cancers, I definitely enjoyed your powerful, powerful spread today. Um, if you made it to this part of the reading, thank you so very much for your view. Appreciate it. You know I do. Hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tower readers. If I have cancer, smash that old subscription button right there, huh? Ring my bell. Hit that old I like Mike button. And we will play some cards in a few short days, man. Justice, four wands, the sun, an emperor, and an empress. A fresh start and a new beginning. All my love, Cancer. May all your dreams come true, my friend. Love and light. Bye for now. Outstanding. Outstanding. Hey, Linda. There's Linda right there claiming it. I would, too. Hell, I got Cancer in my chart. I'm going to claim that one, too, man. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a, I wouldn't mind an empress in my world. <laughs> hey, hey, swords. I got cancer. I'll take some of that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, eat me. Nice to see you tonight. We are gonna we are gonna do live personal readings right now. Let me uh, straighten out all these uh, tarot cards and put them up and play with them again. Even though I always do love it when there's a little stowaway that shows up. Because it always plays out right. I mean, it's terrible, though. Alright. Terror is a vibrational game. Alright. Amy J. Very good, Amy. <laughs> hey. Hey, nice, man. The best of times. The best of times. I know they like to convince us that it's not, but I refuse to accept it, man. I got nothing but the best of times coming in around here for me. Hey, Carl, what's happening? Nice to see you tonight, Carl. Appreciate you very, very much. All right, let's see who's grabbing a reading tonight. Let me put these up here so people know what we're doing. 
it is time to pull some cards for my friends. Smash the join button, become a member of the nation, get regular readings with me, or a one time super chat, $9.99. Get you about eight or ten minutes with me tonight. And always my members, put your milestone markers up. Always check that super chat area. That old money button right there. There we go. It's nice to have a little studio again. Nice big table. Hey Tara, I agree. I agree, you never know what source has got next. The good stuff, the blessing. All right, let's go. Who grabbed a read with me tonight? Very nice, very nice. Ben Ayers is up for us. Hey, Ben. Appreciate you so very, very much. 53 months. Man, I don't even know if I've been a member of Ramble Nation 53 months. <laughs> pretty, pretty doggone close, man. Yeah, Ben. Thank you, my friend. Level 2 member. 53 months of membership. Number 1 tonight, Ben. Thank you. Again. Number 2 tonight is Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. So nice to see you, my friend. And uh, you have a level two reading with me tonight, and you are number two. Jamie G's in the house. Hi, Jamie. Number three tonight. 21 months of membership. Thank you, Jamie G. My cancer friend. Cancer Aries Libra. Hmm, nice, nice. Okay, we we'll pull the good stuff. Jamie, Jamie G. My Jamie G. All right, Leanna. Thank you, Leanna. Okay, uh, that is a nice gift, my friend. Number four. Um, Leanna, a level three with you tonight. Some money, honey. This is Edie. Hi, Edie. Nice to see you tonight. Thanks for grabbing another reading with me. Number five, Edie Jackson. A level two with you tonight. Thank you. As my friend, eat me. Hello, eat me. Nice to see you tonight, my friend. Got your banner up. Wonderful. Ten months already, eat me. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate you so very, very much. Okay. I'm um, back in my live chat. Uh, ben Ayers is number one tonight. Jennifer is number two. Jamie G will be three. Leanna will be four. Edie Jackson will be five. And Eat Me will be six tonight. Lowdown's here. Hey, Lowdown. Nice to see you tonight. Gonna pull you some cards, my friend. 
Glad you could make it here tonight. Where are you at? 27 months of membership. Thank you, Lowdown. All my members, always check that super chat area and see if you got a milestone marker available. Lowdown, a level two member. Thank you, my friend. Number seven. Yes, thank you, my friend. Hey, Hummingbird. Nice to see you tonight. Appreciate everything you do around here. All, all my monitors. All right, let's rock and roll. Hey, Tarot Love Team. I have several of my friends and family. We're going to pull some cards here for tonight. Let's tell them what they need to know most of their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Help all my friends see and hear what they need out of these pools tonight. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together nice, clear, accurate stories for all my friends. Highest good. Thank you so very much. Appreciate you. Like this. Look at this, look at this, man. Uh, wands can be about career. Wands can be about spirituality. And wands can be about passion. This is an ace of wands. We got a new beginning showing up around here. There's my Lulu. Hey, Lulu. So nice to see you tonight. Okay. Ben. Ben, my friend, if you're in the house, give me a howdy. Anything you might want to say your intentions on with this level 2 reading, let me know. Ben. Oh, okay. Alright, a specific person. Alright, my friend. Ben, well, a little look to you. I feel you. Let's play with the alchemia, my friend. The very, very beautiful alchemia. Let's see what it has to say. Ben, Ben, setting his intentions on somebody special. I'm setting my intentions on that as well. Let's see what the tarot says. The Alchemia. 22 majors right here, Ben. We'll start with that tonight. Let's go. Ben, love cards, please. Hmm. <laughs> Hold on here, man. I see, uh, uh, well, the first card right here is a little bit of a challenging one. It's the old devil. Well, maybe they got Capricorn in their chart. Can be a card of obsession. I do have um, the gods here. The gods here seem to be shining a light. Maybe a situation that was challenging for a season. That's the Hermit, it's Virgo, Capricorn, Major Arcanas. I have Justice coming in here. That's a big Libra, Major Arcana. Justice is about things balancing out. Breaking chains that bind. A beautiful energy of balance has showed up around here. The scales falling in your favor. There's a hierophant here. The old Pope of the Tarot deck wanted to say hi in these major arcanas. Um, a hierophant after justice. I hope you like this person. 
There may be some real change going on around here. Let's see what Dancing in the Dark has to say. Ben. Ben. Oh, oh, you're, you're, oh, you're Cappy. <laughs> oh, well, well, oh, two pinnacles showed up. That's a dance of change. It's another card of things balancing out. Look at this, look at this. Patience, patience, <laughs> patience. I'm giggling with you here, Ben. <laughs> look at the God shining the lantern on you. I'm uh, just chilling, <laughs> chilling, chilling. When, when, source, when? Justice showed up around here. Justice, that means the gods are, gods are weighing the scales. Hair plant energy. And back to the tarot. The dance of change just showed up. Has an infinity symbol in there. It's like a soulmate energy. Tell me more, tell me more. Ben, Ben, Ben. Oh, the king of love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the king of love. You may have some water in your chart, too. Yeah, man. You know, uh, uh, well, the king of love in an upright is um, a very balanced energy, emotionally balanced. And Oh, look at what he's attracting. He seems to be attracting his empress. Uh, Major Arcana. Taurus, Libra. There's a dance of change going on around here. The king of love seems to be attracting his empress. Tell me more, tell me more. Ben. 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 <laughs> uh my little information gatherer right here, Ben. Huh? You could be watching a lot of tarot these days, see what they're saying. It's all good. It's all good. Um, it is a communication card, too. A communication card showed up. Tell me more. Tell me more, Ben. Ben. <laughs> oh, damn, Ben. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get ready, man. That's a golden coin right there, buddy. That's the cornerstone of the Ten Pinnacles right there. Oh, looks like, looks like, uh, well, you are you got your tractor on around here. <laughs> you got the golden coin that showed up and a hair plant. And, uh, well, there's a card about celebration, happy days, three cups, a golden coin. For my information gatherer, hey, it looks positive, Ben. Looks positive, my friend. King of love attracting the empress right here. Dance of change. Big golden coin. Three cups about happiness. Enjoying bliss. And, well, <laughs> oh, Ben. Oh, uh, Ben. Another major arcana. Nine cops. <laughs> oh, I got your tractor on right there. Is that the Empress jumping towards nine cops? We got some bells ringing around here, my friend. We got some bells ringing around here. Oh, six of coppers. Six of coppers. Not only six of coppers, but six wands. Six cups. Six wands. Um, let me see these sixes. Returning to a state of harmony and balance. Six cups, six wands. Victory after the battle. Confidence in yourself. I calls you the magician. My manifester. Told you you got your tractor on around here. Nice stuff, Ben. Give me goddess guidance on this for Ben. Hope you like this Empress. Because it looked like they're jumping off the love clip here for my Nine of Copper. Here we go. Here we go, Ben. Ben. 
Goddess Guidance. Oh, oh, purification came out. Oh. Somebody may be cleaning up their act around here. Purification came out. Give me another one. Ben. Ben. Oh, bold came out. Look at your friend. Unleashing. Uh, it's got to be your friend right here. Look. Look. Purification. It talks about them doing the work. And then a the fool card and the bold card unleashing their adventurous side. Being bold. Being daring. Oh, and here's you, the magician. The art of allowance. Allowing nothing but the best into your life. People, places, and things. Outstanding, my manifester. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Huh? I seen a little fool right there. Jumping for my nine of cupper. Love and light, my brother. Love and light. Yeah, easy does it. It's right there, right? We got an unfolding here. We got an unfolding, although I did see a tower. Uh, about sudden change. Anyway, all my love, Ben. May all your dreams come true, my friend. Love and light. Okay, um, Jennifer is up. Jennifer, if you're in the house, uh, maybe you, what you'd like to set your intentions on. You got a level two with me tonight. And then uh, Jamie G is up after Jennifer. Sixty people in the house and sixty likes. Thank you, my friends. Here's my Jennifer. Hello, my friend. Okay. Well, let's have some fun then. Okay. Thank you, my friend. Let's play with a couple cards from uh, Star Temple. Star Temple. I express my intentions with self-confidence and love. Self-confidence and love, setting intentions. Well, that is how to manifest what we want right there. Setting intentions with confidence and love. Hmm. You may have been doing some, uh, some work on yourself in the past season right there. It's a little bit of a shadow work card. They actually came out like this. It's like you may have completed another cycle of some shadow work in your life. Congratulations. And setting intentions for a new, new future right here, a new world with self-confidence and love. Jennifer. Oh, look what came out, the divine. Wow, you did it. <laughs> you did it one more time, kid. Um, the little star, the divine, my inner child is whole and complete. Congratulations, my friend. You've done a lot of work on yourself. And it says you're setting intentions for a new world. Look at her, look at herself. She's proud. Oh, you should be proud of yourself. Good job. Tell me more. Tell me more. Jennifer. Jennifer. What do you want to say to Jennifer, love team? Mm. 
Um, this is uh, the Ruby Star. The flow. I embody my authentic and sensual essence. Ooh la la. My authentic and sensual essence. Essence, I embody it. Here we go, man. Here we go, man. They're all healed up around here. Ooh la la. Okay, all right. The ruby star, the flow. Back in the flow. And look at this. This is a great card, too. This is the goddess of balance. Um, I create and foster reciprocal relationships. Oh, Ruby's your birthstone. Well, this is a nice, uh, it calls you the goddess of balance. Talking about you manifesting equal give and take relationship. How exciting. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. The moon star, the, uh, the moonstone star showed up. Passion, ooh la la. Ooh la la, <laughs> hey, hey, I'm entering into a portal of euphoric love. Well, you definitely did the work here, didn't you? You fell head over heels in love with yourself. And source, look at you, look at you right there, the visionary. The visionary, my friend. Wow, 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 what fun cards, huh? With an intuitive perspective, I see the bigger picture. <laughs> so do I. So do I, my friend. Mm. I express my intuition with self-confidence and love. My inner child is whole and complete. I embody my authentic and sensual essence. I'm entering into a portal of euphoric love. I create and foster equal give and take relationships. And with an intuitive perspective, I see the bigger picture. Wow. Well, well oh, who's this? <laughs> who's this? So, look at these pictures, man. Is this that just showed up in your spread, my friend? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, I see a little. I see a little something going on around here, man. Hey, cause you. Well, the morning star just showed up. Because your radiance is turned on. You got your radiance fired up. And uh, attracting, the, attracting the morning star. And it calls you uh, 33, the sacred orchid. Co-creating with the divine. My abundance mindset affects. My abundance mindset attracts endless blessings. Wow. I see the bigger picture here too, my friend. Ooh la la. A couple tarot cards on it. A couple tarot cards on it. Jennifer. Jennifer. Let's see what Dancing in the Dark says. I see the bigger picture here. Job well done, my friend. Jennifer. Here we go. Overall, what do we got? Jennifer. <laughs> oh, man, you're leaving some challenging days behind. Look at that. That's Seven of Swords. You know, liar, cheaters. And it says we got to go. We're out of here. That's a fool card. That's a fool card right there. About a fresh start and a new beginning. Leaving those days behind. Bye-bye, jellyfish. Bye-bye, knuckleheads. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Here we go, Jennifer. Oh, back on your throne. Queen of love. Queen of love. She's my empath. My healer. My dreamer. She's got spiritual giftings all up in that cup right there. She holds that cup dear to her heart. You are attracting love. You are attracting love here. You are attracting love. Ten cups, that's the happy ever after. Once upon a time, there was Jennifer. And she lived happily ever after. <laughs> Outstanding, my friend. 
Job well done. Job well done. Get ready for more. Get ready for more. There's a king. There's a king of wands. Look at him looking around the corner. At the, at the, <laughs> I love this tarot. Look at him looking around the Damn, who's that? All my love, my friend. All my love. May all your dreams come true. That's the sun. Love and light, Jennifer. Love and light. Jamie G. Jamie G. Jamie G. And then uh, Leanna tonight. Oh, let me see. I got somebody hollered at me here, too. Hi, Yvette. Nice to see you tonight. Thank you, Tara. Oh, you're so welcome, Jennifer. Beautiful stuff. Keep on keeping on. All right. Somebody hollered at me right here. Let me see who put a banner up. Oh, it's my Tanner. Hey, Tanner. Well, we got Glinda, 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 and then Tanner. So, Glinda, you are number eight tonight, my friend. Nine months of membership. My Glinda Wright. Man, that went by fast, huh, Glinda? Thank you, my friend. I got you, number nine, love and money. And uh, number nine is my Tanner, 26 months. Thank you, Tanner. Are you on the right path? Okay, level two. Are you on the right path? Thank you, Tanner. Looking forward to it. All right, Jamie G. Jamie G. And then uh, Leanna. Hey, Audrey. Nice to see you tonight. Yeah. Yeah, get your claimers going, man. Absolutely. And so I play my tarot around here. Nothing's guaranteed. Nothing's guaranteed. All we're doing here is playing a vibrational game. If you if you if you line up with that vibration, yeah, run with it. All right. Jamie G. The good stuff. Let's go. Jamie G. Jamie G. Jamie G. I have Star Temple, my friend. Level 1 reading. My cancer friend. Jamie G. What you got to say to Jamie? Here we go. Oh, <laughs> who's this? Who's this that showed up right here? Who's this ruggedly handsome individual right here? Well, they seem to have Odin's crow on their shoulder. Oh, oh, Jamie. There's only, there's only, well, one ruggedly handsome fella in this deck. So some about, I chart the stars. Signs and symbols. Well, let me hold that sign up there again. Jamie G. Tell me more. Tell me more. Jamie G. Jamie G. What's going on? Oh. <laughs> oh. I no longer hide my face. 
I step into my light with love. Oh, stepping into my light with love. Well, tell me more, tell me more, Jamie G. Jamie G. <laughs> Jamie G. Jamie G. Oh, wow, a rebirth. Go, go, come on, come on, this is nice. Out of darkness into the light, more and more light, more love. Something's coming in here for you. It could be this ruggedly handsome individual right here, huh? Very nice, the one that uh, charts the stars. <laughs> yeah. Follows the signs and the symbols. Tell me more, Jamie G. Jamie G. Oh, wow, the ancestors just jumped out of the deck. That's the ancient grandmother. Oh, Jamie. <laughs> oh. oh. Well, my friend, it shows that uh, the ancestors see you as the pearl of great prize. So I want you seeing yourself like that, too. The pearl of great prize came out. 22, a master's number. The star seed. I'm a divine child of the universe. They got the heavens celebrating right here with you. Coming up and coming out, man. The Jade Star, and then, um, well, it's a sisterhood card, but I always see that as, as angels celebrating with you. May, might be your family around here, too. Um, I'm ready to let go with uh, self-compassion. Letting the past be in the past. You got you got a bunch of angels celebrating with you. The gods see you as the pearl of great prize. So you probably are seeing yourself as that anymore, my cancer friend. This is nice. Could be a love story coming in here for you. Definitely love from the universe for you. They're excited that you're coming up, seeing your self-worth. Look at the gods keep showing up around here about carrying... Carrying the heavy load. Uh, you cast all your cares upon the divine. They're big enough. I always see that card as, you know, the gods are big enough. We're just supposed to be down here on earth having a little bit of fun. They're carrying all that heavy load right there. I released the weight of the world from my shoulders. Ooh, this is gorgeous, man. Oh, and there is. The winged messenger is right there. Well, who is this ruggedly handsome individual right here? The winged, the winged messenger showed up. My pearl of great prize. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> uh, uh, let's get a couple of goddess guidance on this and see what it says. Jamie G. Jamie G. Oh, divine protection. We'll always take that. Oh, and uh, un unconditional love. Loving yourself and others. Oh, there's a breakthrough for you right here. You've fallen in love with yourself. You've fallen in love with the divine. And there is a ruggedly handsome individual in this spread, my friend. Jamie G. Past life lover. A past life lover just showed up, my friend. <laughs> hey, Jamie. Well done, my friend. May our dreams come true. Love and light. Jamie G. All right, Leanna. And then Edie Jackson. Who's that? Abs. Hello, Abs. Nice to see you tonight. Always good to see you in the house, my friend. All right. <laughs> I'm glad you're here tonight. All right. 
Leanna. Leanna wants some cards on money, honey. Well, let's have some fun. Here you are, my friend. Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for grabbing a reading with me tonight. Let's take a look at some money cards around here, huh? I always need a bigger desk. It's never, it's never big enough. <laughs> All right. My money cards. There they are. Lee. Money, honey. Hey, Tower Love Team. Let's pull some money cards for Lee. Lee. Money come to Lee. Money come from the north, the south, the east, to the west. Money moves towards Leanna. Here we go, my friend. Wow, the fruits of your labor just showed up. Damn, it's looking like harvest time right off the bat. That's an absolutely beautiful tree right there. It's time to reap the fruits of your labor. Darling, it says, and become rich. Rich gain is here. That can be a big money card. I mean, I played with this deck on my own. A lot of times when that comes out for me, I get, I get some money. Nice card right there. Leanna. Rich gain is here. Let's see, here we go. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, that was, this was worth picking up. This was worth picking up. The win-win partnership just showed up. The win-win partnership. Could be love, could be a business partnership talks about you prioritizing your connections tell me more Lee Diana seek and you shall find that's the eyes of the divine that's source source seek and you shall find fruits of your labor Partnership, the eye of Horus, ask, believe, and receive. You're in a nice energy right here. I see, I see your rockets of desire that you have shot up to the, to the divine. They could be coming back here in the 3D for the first time, showing up here for you, showing you your faith right here on the spread, showing you that the gods hear your prayers. Tell me more, tell me more. Leanna. Wow, the money tree again. <laughs> that has a nice font on it, Leanna. It says, dreams coming true. You will get what you have long desired. Wow, this is you shooting your rockets of desire. And uh, Source bringing them right back down here. So you can see them in the 3D. The money tree. And the piggy bank. Yay. You know what the piggy bank talks about. Plenty money, honey. Plenty money, honey. You know, that's our spiritual birthright. Plenty money. Uh-huh. The gods don't want their babies broke, busted, and disgusted. They want their babies rocking in prosperity. Mm-hmm. Ask, believe, and receive. It's a nice card right there. It's my free bird. 
letting go of the worries, giving it all to the gods. Perfect. That's so you're going to get what you want. Ask, believe, and receive. Letting go of the worries. Freedom in action. All right. Very, very nice. Let's play some tarot. Let's play some tarot. Let's see what Dancing in the Dark has to say. You got love and you got money on here. Well, you got a partnership. A win-win partnership was on here. I mean, if you, you know, if you're looking for love. You got money. Money all over this. Letting go of the worries. Carefree. Casting it upon the divine. Ask, believe, and receive. Got your receivers out. First card right here is um, Ten Wands. Which is a card, of, it's a, it's a ending of a cycle card. That old heavy burden. Putting, throwing all that down on the ground. See again, giving all the cares of all of this to the divine. Oh, wow, there's Gabriel showing up. A major arcana. Gabriel's major arcana. Judgment. Um, that's our card about Phoenix from its ashes. That's a card of breakthrough. Yeah, Six of Swords. Here we go, man. Here we go. Here we go. Getting in the boat right there. Going over the old River of Six. To old Paradise Island. Leaving ten wands behind. Gabriel's blowing a horn around here. Triumph. Hey, there's a chariot right here. A major arcana just showed up. Chariot to the star. Um, six swords. Wow. There is a win-win partnership on here. Kind of hoping it's just, you know, meeting whoever is on the other side of that river of sticks right there. This could be two people. I mean, these two are facing each other. You know me. I'm always looking for a partnership. You got a partnership card right there. You got a rebirth energy for you. Because you cast all the cares with it under the gods. Forward movement at least towards victory. Chariot talks all about that. Could be talking about a partnership. I got an oracle card that talked about partnership. Let's pull a love card and see what it says. Leanna. 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 What we got? Oh wow, we're getting to know each other. Getting to know each other came out, my friend. As you reveal your innermost self to each other, the bond deepens. That's Six of Swords and a Chariot. Got a Rebirth card right there. Tell me more, tell me more. Tell me more. Leanna. Oh, we got a healing card. Your love life benefits as you forgive. Give me one more right here. Leanna. Playfulness. Wow. Playfulness. There could be a lover coming in here. I love that picture. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine and make the effort. Great loves were taking the steps that we are guided to take. Great love came out around here, Liana. Absolutely gorgeous, my friend. Give me a goddess guidance, please. For Liana. Nice breakthrough, my free bird. Nice breakthrough energy here for you. Let's go. Liana. Wow, undying love came out. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Wow. <laughs> wow. Great love, undying love. Gabriel blowing a horn. Shows you as a high priestess too, by the way. This is the one she got her throne on. She's looking gorgeous. 
says you have divine knowledge that can help others with your spiritual teachings. Absolutely gorgeous, my high priestess. High priestess gets to come out up out of the still place. High priestess, you know, she she knows how to rock that rebirth energy. Anyway, definitely talked about a lover right here, my friend. And money. Money tree to the piggy bank. Go on with yourself. May your dreams come true. Leanna. Okay, um, Edie Jackson is up. Edie Jackson, and then my friend, Eat Me. Thank you, Leanna. Edie Jackson. Edie has a level two reading tonight. Um, if you're in the house, Edie, and uh, you'd like to set your intentions on your poll, let me know. Go love team. Edie. Edie Jackson. Start with money, huh? Edie. Money come to Edie. Money come to Edie. There you are, my friend. Some money cards. Money moves towards Edie. Let's go. Edie. Money moves. Hmm. Talking about opportunities abounding. Hmm. You may need to make some choices around here. That card is about opportunities abounding around you. It's a great money card. Choose wisely. Tell me more. Edie, money. 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 Edie. Wow, sweet success jumped out. Looks like you make the right choice. Sweet success. Not not just success, but sweet success. It says it's not difficult to get everything that you want and enjoy it. Edie, it says getting what you want. <laughs> anyway, it says getting what you want, darling. <laughs> hey, hey, tell me more. Edie, Edie. Nice energy right here, my friend. We are going up. Edie Jackson, money, honey. Well, it's a free bird right there. Letting go of the worries. That's a real key. That's a real key, man. You know. Because, that you know, they all want us to believe that, you know, money, money's so hard. It's so hard. It's not hard. They're printing it every freaking day. They're printing it as fast as they can. Yeah, the printing factories are working overtime. Beep, beep, back that truck up, Harry. Get this crap out of here. We're backloaded. We're printing this stuff as fast as we can. <laughs> Letting go of the worries, Edie. Oh, yeah. Attracting sweet success. Here we go, Edie. Oh, expression came out. Look at that, man. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Back that truck right up over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back that truck up right on over here. Expression came out. Um, expressing your creative self. 
expressing your creative self. And it also says opening your heart and connecting with others. Edie, we got some kind of breakthrough going on around here. Yeah, love and money maybe, huh? Anyway, creating, expressing your creative self, opportunities abounding, sweet success, and letting, care, letting go of the worries. I have plenty of money on this planet. Money come to me. Is that what you're saying right there? Money come to me. I'm talking to you, money. I'm talking to you. Money come to me. When? Now. Money come to me now. I'm having fun with this. Hope you are too. Opening your heart and connecting with others. Maybe some new friends. Maybe a special new friend. Edie. Edie, my cancer. Oh, there is a love life. Look what came out, man, after opening the heart, expressing your creative self. The love life card in a money deck, darling. Oh, that one says, free from problems and money troubles. Snap! Enjoying the passion of love. <laughs> Who's got time to be worrying about money? <laughs> money come. Love come. This is about you stepping into your spiritual birthright. Love and money showed up around here in your spread tonight. Surprise, surprise, surprise. An unexpected turn brings positive change. Be ready for change. Edie Jackson. That was fun. Let's play a couple tarot cards on it. Edie. Edie. My cancer friend. Give me one. Overall. Overall. Edie. Edie. Let's cut it. Dancing in the dark. Oh, it is the Fool card. We got our new moon coming in here. It's not a fresh start and a new beginning. Look at the Fool jumping towards the sweet cake. Look at the Fool jumping towards sweet success. Look at the Fool jumping towards love life. Yay. Uranus card, sudden change. Sudden change, surprise, surprise, surprise. Edie, 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 who's this looking at me? Who's that fella right there? Looks like he's peeking around the corner. Looks like he's peeking around the corner right there. Oh, King of Wander. King of Passion. Oh, King showed up, darling. Tell me more. Tell me more. Edie. Edie. Oh. Oh, oh this is so... Edie. Edie. This is soulmate energy. Six of Cups on the top and Four of Wands on the bottom, darling. The old 11-11 card. Ooh. Oh, no wonder, no wonder that King of Passion is peeking around that corner. This is somebody pretty special around here. No wonder we got the Love Life card. Love and be loved. Free from problems and money troubles. Enjoying the passion of love. Wow, he... Super fun. Give me a uh, goddess guidance for Edie Jackson. Oh. Pulled a bright future, darling. Outstanding cards tonight. The bright future showed up, Edie. I'm going to let it go with that. All my love. Love and light, Edie. Wow. <laughs> May all your dreams come true, my friend. Love and light, love and light. 
Hummingbird. Hello, Hummingbird. So nice to see you tonight, my friend. 17 months of membership. Number 10 tonight. A level two member. Okay. The ancestors. You got it. Eat me is up. Eat me and then my friend low down. Hello, Emi. Nice to see you tonight, my friend. Uh, we got a level one reading for you tonight. Um, is there anything specifically you want to look at? Hello, 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 my friend. Nice to see you. Your energy feels good tonight. Hope everything's going good for you. I can feel I can feel people's energy. But I'm gonna pull cards from your energy feels nice right now. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um we are on number six, Tanner. And uh, you are number nine. Sounds like you're doing the work around here. I, I changed my living situation around today too, my friend. All right, you want to know the truth about your situation? You feel that somebody's lying to you? Well, I mean, welcome to Earth. You know. But, I mean, you're tuned in. Hell, you, you probably don't need cards to let you know if somebody's lying to you. Yeah, okay, the information ain't adding up. Okay. Well, I just claim divine favor for you, as I always have. I like that uh, no matter what's going on on the outside, you're, you're taking care of yourself inside your home and inside yourself. Let's, uh, let's pull some cards around here. I mean, you might be dealing with liars and cheaters. You know, don't mind me, but you're dealing with government agencies. Oh, shit, did I say that out loud? I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. Eat me, all my love. Okay, guidance into my highest timeline. Okay, greatest outcome. I like that, eat me. Let's set nice high intentions, right? Yeah. All right, nice high, nice high intentions. Guidance to my highest timeline. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, love team. For eat me, guidance to the highest uh, timeline. <laughs> hey, man, that was... There's a lover around here. No, <laughs> guidance to the highest timeline. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, both sides. Both sides. Oh. Anyway. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. All right. We're talking about the highest timeline around here. All right. We'll, we'll set them over there for a minute. Hello, hello. Hello. Look, a death card came out. A death guard came out after all that. Now, there's a sun rising. There's a sun rising right there. And that is a card about coming out of very challenging times. Death, birth, resurrection, major transformation. It is Scorpio season that we are in right now. 
And um, it is another major arcana, Death to the Magician. So the Magician for me is the number one card. It is my manifester. They manifest all new beginnings. They have all four aces there, eat me. Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and an Ace of Wands. They are tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the Divine up there. As above, so below. Um, it's about positive thoughts and positive words and inspired action. You have manifested a, uh, a transformation cycle right here. Death, birth, resurrection, major transformation. Eat me. Eat me. Um, well, this is my information gatherer right here. And, uh, well, you got your sword up, so, I mean, you tell me that, uh, you, you know, there may be some, some deceptive things going on around you that you may have found out about when that card shows up. But ultimately, it says to me that you've set your intentions on being happy. That you've made a wish as a magician, which is faith. It's faith. Tell me more, tell me. Says you're on track right here. Says there's a transformational energy that showed up here for you. Eat me. Eat me. Oh my god, yeah, there's um probably found out about some Well that's frickin' five swords. Uh, now, Five Swords is an energy for you about uh, victory at any cost. It's also a card about standing up for yourself, putting yourself up in the front of the card of life, right? It's fighting the good fight. What's a good fight? A good fight is a fight that we win. Uh, yeah, you're dealing with some people around here. It's probably not being straight with you. It says you already know that. Look, man. There's an Empress energy for you. You. Well, I don't know, man. There may be some bells ringing in the near future, too. I do got, I do got a lover over here. I got you back on your throne. And yes, I would say that people aren't being straight with you. and But yet you know about it. You know about it. Um... Says you're, says you're going to end this situation or uh, there's going to be some kind of movement on your behalf. Um, and uh, Eight of Cups going to Nine Cups. My magician. Yeah. There's some people but ain't being straight with you. I don't think it's going to affect you though. You look fine. Your energy looks really, really good. Looks really, really strong. You know what's going on around you. Being led and guided by the divine. See, I see this all coming to an end. Whatever this is about right here. It. And you're heading up to the mountaintop. I don't know. Nine cups are up there, man. Nine cups and a love pony and a lover. Um, yeah, the dance will change. It probably has begun right now. The dance of change for the better says you uh, says says you got victory and the guidance of the divine. I cut to the hermit. Um, that's about planetary alignments lining up in your favor. It's also about being led and guided by the divine. There you are putting down these heavy look, look. putting down the heavy burden. The cycles the cycles coming to an end right here. Whatever this five swords is about. And then I got movement for you in a new direction. Yeah, movement right there, man. Six swords takes us over to Paradise Island after very challenging times. Talked about learning a hell of a lot on that journey, too. Taking that over to the other side, Paradise Island. And we got a lover. We got a lover over there, too, by the way. Source, source has got your back right here. Cast your cares about all the gods. Keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open. They're not defeating you. As a matter of fact, you're coming out the winner in this story. Oh my god, judgment came out. 
Wow, whoever these five of swords over here. You got Gabriel just showed up. Judgment just showed up. <laughs> okay, doge. Um, but that's a rebirth for you, Phoenix from its ashes. And uh, these people right here, these five of swordsies. Uh, they better look out, man. Judgment showed up. It means the favor of the gods is with you. All my love, my friend. I hope you got something out of this. It says you get a get in the boat right there and go on over to Paradise Island. <laughs> it says the dance of change has begun now. Okay. All right, my friend. Love and light. Um, down, low down is up. Hello, 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 low down. And then uh, Glenda Wright. Somebody hollered at me right there. It's Carla. Hi, Carla. Nice to see you tonight, my friend. You're number 11. Thank you, Carla. Happy Monday. Thank you, Carla. Level 2 read for you tonight. All right, low down and Glinda Wright. Low down, if you're still around uh, and you want to say your intentions on the poll, let me know. Okay, my cancer friend. Nice to see you tonight. Low down. Wondering about a rekindling. Well, let's see what the tarot says, my friend. Cancer's read was outstanding tonight. All about that divine, a divine union type thing. Okay. Well, let's start with some love cards, huh, my friend? So nice to see you tonight. Okay. Low down, love team. Want to know about a rekindling energy? Hey, the first card out right here is, um, a very powerful card about knowing that you deserve love knowing that you are lovable now for me huh love companionship is part of our birthright we've all seen those movies about the babies that didn't get loved on they didn't come out right it says you you know that you deserve love and that you know that you are lovable Look what she's shooting her bow and arrow at. The love boat. The love boat. This one talks about bliss. Bliss. That could be a really special connection right here. It says enjoy the bliss of time together. The honeymoon card, knowing that you deserve love. There's a healing card here as well. Um, your love life benefits as you forgive. And make the effort. Wow. Great loves were taking the steps that we are guided to take. Who's that little boy right there kissing that little sugar baby on the face? Okay, okay, okay. Low down, my cancer friend. 
Let's play some tarot on this. Oh, playfulness. Yes, it's time to have some fun. I love that picture. Play Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Wow, getting to know each other. This is really positive. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, the bond deepens. Wow, very, very nice, my friend. Okay. Okay, let's play with tarot. Dancing in the dark. Low down, my cancer friend. You deserve love. You are lovable. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of time together. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost self to each other, the bond deepens. Uh, healing is here. Playfulness. And the great love card. Great loves. We're taking the steps that we are guided to take. Low down. Low down. Let's go, love team. Low down. Hangman. Hangman. It's a major arcana. It's a Pisces major arcana. Talks about dark night of the soul. I'm not sure if this is your energy. <laughs> Hangman's about somebody thinking and feeling and believing differently these days. Oh. <laughs> hey, she's pretty good with that arrow. She might be able to hit that rope, cut that hangman out that tree. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Hangman. Hangman coming up out of a tree. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Low down. Oh, who's this peeking over the bush? Who's that peeking over the bush? Or the old divine timing card right there. It's also the money tree, darling. Oh, we got somebody peeking over the bush. <laughs> Who goes there? Who goes there? Oh. Oh, friend or foe. <laughs> oh, I just want to come out of the hangman's tree. <laughs> How you been? Tell me more. Tell me more. Low down. Low down. Oh, there they are right there. And they are right there. Been holding on to that old heart shocker for a long time. This old hangman over here. This old hangman with seven of pentacles. Oh, well, 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 well. Somebody's been hanging on with a heart shocker for a minute around here. <laughs> um, well. Jeez, who is this, man? I've been missing you for a long time. Out, out. Out, out of this hangman's heart. Out, out, out. Get out. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Low down. Somebody's been holding you in that heart chakra for a minute around here, darling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it seems as they'd be changing their attitude around here. Changing their attitude. Six wands came out. I do call this the old triumph or return of the Sun King. Uh, Six of Wands is a card of victory, confidence in oneself. So, yeah, we got a hangman coming out of uh, coming out of the tree right there. Yeah, tell me more. Tell me more. Low down. Low down. The lovers came out, darling. <laughs> Looking like laundry day. Looking like laundry day coming in around here. Who do who? Six of wands to the lovers. Yeah, I would say it's maybe more than a friend, darling. Oh, these are special cards, man. Six of wands and the lovers. Definitely a rekindling energy right here. Ooh la la. Definitely, definitely a friend right here to say the very least. All right, I'm going to play with Ascended Masters with these two right here.
Play with <laughs> oh, there's old Moses splitting the Red Sea for these two. So let it be written. So let it be done. <laughs> Thank you, Moses. Thank you, Moses. Moses splitting the Red Sea around here. Let's go. Let's go. Low down. Low down. Oh, look at health and healing. Damn. Health and healing. Low down. Oh. It's a pairing. There's ocean right there. Look at this, look at this couple. They look gorgeous to me. I love, I love your cat. I love your cat right there. I know it says drink more water, but we got Moses splitting the Red Sea over here, man. So let it be written. So let it be done. Oh, I like this for your lowdown. Huh? It says work your magic, darling. Work your magic. How beautiful is all this? Hey, low down. All my love, my cancer friend. May our dreams come true. Love and light. Love and love and light. My low down. Okay. This brings me to Glinda Wright. Glinda and then my Tanner. Glinda, we got a level one reading for you tonight. Love and money. Love and money. Glenda Wright. Thank you, Lowdown. My Glenda. Love and money. Let's go, love team. Glenda Wright. Money come to Glenda. Money moves. Money moves, Glenda Wright. Let's go, Glenda. Money moves. What's it talking about? Gratitude. Gratitude. Um, this card can talk about maybe money being a little challenging for a period, but it also talks about the power of gratitude and being grateful and thankful for the many amazing things that are going on in your life. Show me that... Um, you got gratitude in the midst of possibly some challenging times. The candy skull just showed up around here. That talks about the ending of a cycle. Yay. Yay. <laughs> bye, lack. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, lack. Bye, bye, lack. A cycle is over. It's time for change. Rebirth. It's time to say goodbye. Yeah, goodbye, Lack. Look what's after that. Celebration times. Come on. Yeah, we got real breakthrough right here. It looks to me like it's all because of gratitude. We do have a new moon energy coming in here. Planning for a joyful future. Beautiful cards. Gratitude. Endings, a cycle is over, it's time for change, it's time for rebirth and celebration. Kicking off the party activities, it says. And having a great time. <laughs> Planning for a joyful future. Well, we got money breakthrough right there, darling. All right, let's take a look at love. Let's take a look at love. Give me a couple of love cards on here. Glenda. Couple of love cards. Money looks good. 
Love cards, please. Glenda. Glenda, love team. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Oh my God, man. You are definitely coming out of some old challenging times. Love and money. What we got? Red flags, deception. Oh, good night, Irene, man. For, and, then, and then a beautiful card about forgiving and learning. Forgiving and learning. So it's very powerful right here. You got breakthrough with your money. Celebration. This talks about an ending of a karmic cycle for you. Looking like love and money. Tell me more about love right here. We're letting old red flags, deception, and forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your now. Couple more love cards here. Oh, romantic. Oh, attraction. Attraction came out after um, forgiving and learning. Attraction is about being in your now, being in your moment, enjoying life where you're at. Um, not putting uh, too much pressure on the future. And letting the past be in the past. Romantic feelings came out. This is a new energy. Obviously. Ah, these feelings are real and worth exploring. We got some love exploring showed up in your spread around here. And something about chemistry. A strong magnetic attraction. Darling, you got a breakthrough right here in love and money. You may be right here, right now. Loving on yourself first and foremost at this particular point in time for giving and learning. But then we got attracting, attracting romantic feelings and attracting chemistry. And all this seems to be about a, a cycle is over. It's time for change. It's time for rebirth. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, Lack. Goodbye, knuckleheads. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. We are heading over here to the land of romantic feelings and chemistry and celebration. All my love, Glenda. May all your dreams come true, my friend. Nice pull for you tonight. Job well done. Loving on yourself first and foremost. Well done, my friend. Okay. Tanner is up. Okay, Tanner says, I want to know if I'm on the right path. Hello, Tanner. So nice to see you tonight, my friend. Says you want to know if you're on the right path. Well, you know, the tarot cards are going to clarify what you already know. Oh, okay. Let's play with tarot. Let's play with dancing in the dark, my friend. Tanner, a level two spread. Am I on the right path? Couple of couple of hearts showed up. Tanner. Tanner. My lovely, lovely Tanner. Aren't you a Leo? Temperance showed up. Archangel Michael's card. I got a Knight of Pentacles showing up. That's a solid, stable energy. This is a Yes card. It's a Wheel of Fortune. Talks about an old karmic cycle ending. A new cycle coming in here for you. Pretty special card right there. Jupiter. Expansion and good luck. The wheel turning. 
Got Michael bringing in a Knight of Pentacles. I like that's my favorite knight. All the knights are on a mission. This is the only one that uh, has the potential to cross that old poor wander world. And the Knight of Pentacles is heading towards the Wheel of Fortune. Is this you wondering? Yep. Is this you wondering? Your Major Arcana just showed up. Oh, look at you, Queen of Wands. Definitely you. There's a Love Cup coming in. That's the Hand of the Divine. Four cups, you know, all these damn empty cups, huh, my lovely Leo? Strength, and it shows you Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands knows their, knows their worth. Queen of Wands knows how amazing they are. Both of those, definitely your cards. Hey, hey, look, Tanner. Your Ten of Swords showed up. And that, my friend, talks about the ending of a painful cycle and the promise of a new day to dawn. Very good, man. you got a cycle coming to an end and a new cycle. Well, I bet that old cycle's already ended. Tanner. I just love the way he just peeled off the bottom of the deck right there. Tanner, that's two cups. That's a beautiful, beautiful soulmate energy after ten swords. The promise of a new day to dawn. Tanner, well done, my magician. As above, so below, as within, so without. It's the number one. It's the number one major arcana, my friend. You said uh, you've manifested the wheel to turn for you. Oh, very challenging times. A death card. Death, birth, resurrection, and major transformation. Scorpio season. Change for the better, darling. Change for the better. Look at all these major arcanas. The death card, the magician, the strength card, the wheel of fortune. Temperance. And two cups. Yeah, you got a love story. Looks to me like you're on the right track. Yep, right there, man. Six swords. Learned a lot from the past, and we're going over the river of sticks right there. Over to what Mikey calls Paradise Island. <laughs> Tanner. Absolutely gorgeous, my friend. It's full of love card on it. Tanner. Tanner. I'm excited for you. Chemistry. A strong magnetic attraction. Chemistry with two of cups, darling. Chemistry with two cups. Romantic feelings. These feelings are real. And worth exploring. We got some love exploring going on around here. Be in the now, be in the moment. Smell the roses. Let the past be in the past. Don't put too much pressure on the future. Got a beautiful unfolding right here of a love story in front of me, Tanner. I'm really excited for you. A lot of forgiving and learning. Forgiving and learning. Forgiving and learning. Give me God's guidance for Tanner, please. I'm going to let it go at that, Tanner. I'm super happy for you. I'm super excited for you. May all your dreams come true, Tanner. Love and light, my friend. Love and light. Yeah, there it is. Quan Yin. Quan Yin. She says, uh, releasing judgments about yourself and others. Focus on love and focus on light. All my love, Tanner. Beautiful cards for you tonight. May all your dreams come true, my friend. 
Who's that? Sherry Carter. Hi, Sherry. Nice to see you tonight. Who's that? Love One is in the house tonight. Hello, my friend. Nice to see you. Who's that? Shannon C. Hello, Shannon. Nice to see you as well. Hello, 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 everybody. Happy Monday, my friends. This brings me to uh, Hummingbird. Hummingbird wants some cards pulled on, uh, well, what's the ancestors have to say? I like that kind of spread. Let's have some fun. Hummingbird. Hummingbird, thank you for everything you do around here, my friend. Appreciate you. Okay. Let's see what the ancestors have to say tonight. The mirror came out, hummingbird. I hold the mirror up to see, accepting and loving all of me. It's a card of uh, loving on yourself for a season, coming up and coming out. Tell me more, tell me more, hummingbird. Hummingbird. A lot of healing in that card. Okay. The ancestor just showed up. What do you want to say to Hummingbird, love team? The ancient grandmother. Look at him loving on you. Look at him loving on you through a season right here. I hold the mirror up to see, accept, and love all of me. I am the teacher that leads with self-knowledge, the ancient grandmother. Hummingbird. Hummingbird. Oh, look, here you are. I see you as the starlight. My inner vision guides me to my higher purpose. Oh, they're well pleased with you. Well pleased with you, my friend. Give me some more. shows this ruggedly handsome individual. There's only one ruggedly handsome individual in this deck. That seems to show up in your spread. They got Odin's crow on their shoulder right there. Charting the stars it says. And of course it gives honor where honors due right here for you. The Oracle. The Oracle. Chip off the old block right there. Told you they're well pleased with you. This looks like a promise. I am the Oracle. My intuitive insight flows freely. Lift off. <laughs> Lift off and alignment. Oh, and the lovers. Oh. All right, all right. We got liftoff. Houston, we have liftoff over here. We have liftoff over here. Hummingbird. Hummingbird, we got liftoff. Um, I open my senses to feel the delicious pleasure and passion. And the alignment card, there we go. In, in alignment again, look at you, man. 
Get over there, you ruggedly handsome one. Look at you, man. Alignment. In alignment with yourself, in alignment with the divine. Lift off. Lift off. And then, well, the gateways of light. It certainly looks like the lovers to me. It certainly looks like the lovers to me. I know. It shows up in your cards all the time. L alignment. Lift off. <laughs> I open my senses to feel the delicious pleasure and passion. Ooh. Ooh. Destiny. Wow. A destiny card showed up. Hummingbird. A destiny card showed up. What do they call you right there? Oh, the Diamond Star. The Diamond Star. Well, we all know it takes a little bit of pressure to make that diamond, huh? On oh, my 33. I focus on service and follow my higher purpose. Wow. <laughs> well, 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 well. Ah, oh, let's play a little bit of tarot on this. Hummingbird. What else you got to say to Hummingbird Love Team? What else you got to say, my oracle? Hummingbird. Hummingbird. What you got for Hummingbird? Let's go. Let's go. Hummingbird. It's the slow pony. It's the <laughs> it's that night that's been taking forever in a day. Showing up around here in your spread. We I, I lift off. The slow pony showed up. Well, 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 well. Give me another card. Give me another card. Alignment. Here we go. Here we go. It's the Wheel of Destiny. I'm going to pull another one. It's a Major Arcana. Talks about an old cycle ending, darling, and a new cycle beginning. The Knight of Pentacles showing up. The Wheel of Fortune. I'm a bird. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm heard. I'm heard. Ooh la la. <laughs> hey, there's an ace right there, darling. <laughs> Blowed all the leaves off that old stick. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Oh, hey. Oh, ho, ho. That's a great three pinnacles, ain't it? It's a card about collaboration. It's a card about building a firm foundation with somebody that's important to you. And you are important to them. Well, I'm going to pull a couple of love cards here. Let's see what they say. Hummingbird. What we got? This could be the one. You may have already met the romantic partner that you seek. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Give me another one. Hum hummingbird. Hummingbird. <laughs> oh, attraction. So, so keep on being you. Keep on being you. Huh? Yeah, yeah, don't blame your tarot reader. You're the one. You got your attractor on, darling. <laughs> you got your attractor on around here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And heart-to-heart uh, -heart conversations. Wow, honestly discussing feelings with each other. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> yeah, Knight of Pentacles. A Wheel of Fortune, an Ace of Wands, and three pinnacles came out of the tarot. Oh. 
<laughs> Hummingbird. You may want to talk with your ancestors about all this. All my love, my friend. May all your dreams come true. Love and light. Love and light. Hummingbird. <laughs> yeah, I can't blame him either, man. I mean, if you know who this is right here, I, I don't blame him, man. You know, ain't nothing wrong with desiring the Empress. They just need to come in like the Emperor, that's all. So, I mean, not looking like an Emperor to me. You know, they're going to have to. Whoever this is has to match you. Huh. All my love, my friend. All my love. All right, my Carla. My Carla. I liked it too, Yvette. I liked it too. All right, my Carla. I think Carla said just uh, general. Let's see. Carla left me a note tonight. Yep, general. Okay. All right, Carla. What are we going to play with here tonight? Let's play with some major arcanas to start off your spread, Carla. This is uh, the Grand Lux. 22 major arcana. With the Grand Lux, my friend. <laughs> I see you right there. I see you right Well, you appeared in it. Justice. Big Libra, so I mean, Source knows we're pulling for you. It's about the scales falling in your favor. There's an Emperor. There's an Emperor. And Carla. Okay. Give me some cards right here. Carla, looks like you're getting closer to that day. <laughs> here we go. Here we go, Carla. It shows you the high priestess. My priestess of the moon. The keeper of the mysteries of the collective unconscious. She is tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine. That's you. Impressive. Impressive, my friend. Yeah, no wonder our emperor's here. You deserve nothing but the best. Now the lovers, you're manifesting a lover. It's right here, my Libra friend. Love that lover's card, it's gorgeous, huh? The lovers. The lovers. Give me one more and we're going to play tarot on this. <laughs> it's the hermit. It's Father Time. Father Time just showed up around here. <laughs> He's shining his light on somebody special, it looks like to me. Uh, here they come, man. Here they come. Uh, you know, it says you could have telepathy with this individual right there. Who you got telepathy with? It's a whole new world. Let's play some tarot on it. It's a whole new world. Well, let's play some tarot. See if we get some clarification, huh? 
It's some injustice. It's some injustice for Carla. An ace of cups. <laughs> An ace of cups. Who's the emperor? I say who's the emperor because they showed up again. And the emperor showed up twice, my high priestess. Said you're manifesting the love cup. Yes, you are. Because this is a card of victory. Hmm? Uh, this card has Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo on that major arcana. Carla. Carla. The lovers, please. <laughs> like Carla. That's a Libra card. That's a Libra card, but, uh, well, they have to make their mind up. They have to make their mind up, Carla. <laughs> My lovely Libra. <laughs> Show some quiet time with Source. So some quiet time with source. We also have the hermit right there. Quiet time with source. Looks like you're going to make a decision here soon. You are going to make a decision here soon. Probably during Scorpio season right here. Look at what I got. A strength card. Taming the beast. Taming the loins. Strength. Now the four swords is about quiet time. So is the Hermit. And then comes Six Swords. Looks like there's a decision being made here soon. That's a card of movement. Mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. Looks to me like it's going to happen in uh, Scorpio season. A Death card. Transformation. Definitely change. Look at her. Looks like she knows who this is right here. The way she's looking at him. Yep, there it is right there, the dance of change. There it is right there, the leading and the guiding of the divine. There it is, some kind of spiritual union. Temperance, major arcanas. Major arcanas all upon this right here. Well, enjoy a Scorpio season, huh? I would say by the end of the new year, or as we go into the new year, you're going to have an emperor in your life. Mm hmm. Give me a love card. The Taurus. Where's all that passion? Who's the one you're passionate about? Passion showing up around here. <laughs> Carla. <laughs> it says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yeah, it's a past life lover. It's a soulmate, man. Wow. Anyway. Anyway. Um, again, in this thread right here, I did have a Taurus um, with the world card. And I did have Sagittarius with Temperance. I don't know. It's it's like sources are telling you what to do. They never do. They lead us and guide us, but it's our own journey in life. I think it's against the rules for them to actually do any more than just lead and guide us. But I would say that Taurus is on this world card. It says Scorpio season. It says you're going to make a decision. All my love, my friend. Choose wisely. May all your dreams come true. It's my Carla. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, it's a divine union right here. There's no avoiding it. She's led and guided by source. Uh-huh, to justice and a new world. And and this emperor is being led and guided too. Look at him. Both of these are being led. These lovers are being led to a new world with each other. It's it's very it's very powerful. All my love, my friend. May our dreams come true, my Carla. All right, all right, all right, everybody. I had an amazing time tonight. Hope you did, too. Um, who's that? Tomorrow night, Tuesday night, that'll be Leo. Oh, my lovely Leos. We'll pull some cards for Leos. They've had a nice breakthrough energy lately on my tarot board. Anyway, that, that show will be 8 p.m. Eastern tomorrow night. Tell your Leo friends we're going to pull some cards for them. And until then, my friends, everybody have an amazing night. All my love, all my love, my lovelies. Love and light. Bye for now.